yesterday, who can tell me what we did to make the patches that you guys have in front of you right now? Who can tell me? Color it in, and then you come to the mismatch set, come to you, and, put, and you iron and all, and then when you finish, mm -hmm. you write your name, and then you do this one, Got it. and you do all that. So we ironed your design, we ironed it on, okay? Do you guys remember the full design that you made? Yes. In the very beginning? Yes. I, I've put most of them up on the two. So you can look back there if you forget, okay? Because you did, when you designed out the whole thing beforehand, you had some other um, ideas that you had that you wanted to put on there, and that's what we're doing today. We're going to paint, okay? Okay, you have three colors in front of you. Who can tell me what kind of colors these main ones are? What, they, what are they? Which colors are they? And what kind of colors are those three colors? The yellow, red, and blue. The she said the first ones, and she's right. There's another primary. Those are the primary colors. Okay? So you just have the primary colors, and if you would like to, you can make the secondary colors to put on. Okay? What will cooperation look like in your team when you're working on your package? Looks like sharing. What else? Looks like or sounds like. Um, Christopher. Uh, you go first. Saying you go first. Go ahead. Use the paint first. Um, this is the drinking gourd that they have to follow when they're in the night. Uh huh. And they sleep in the morning walls. If they go, if they travel. Okay. My design is about a safe house where um, in, in my book that there's a little girl trying to find her little brother. Mm -hmm. she, he went on the train and she found a safe house with a quilt on top of it. By um, looking at the quilt, seeing the quilt? She didn't see the quilt. They didn't see the quilt, okay. And then the, when they came again? She saw the quilt. She saw the quilt, okay. And this is the house. That's great. The second graders finished the fabric painting on their quilt patches. We let them dry and I sewed them together. And we displayed the quilt and each child wrote a page about his or her quilt patch and what it represented and um, the connections between what they'd learned about the Underground Railroad um, here in the United States um, in the 1800s and it became a class book and that was the end of our project which was much more about process than project at that stage this is the quilt uh, all sewn together all the second graders patches have been sewn together and along the edges are um, outlines of each of their each child's foot with their name written on it and they glued them on the edges with fabric glue.